So many of you have asked for me to do a home favorites video for all of the things that I've purchased so far for our new house. If you're new to my channel, my name is Amanda. I typically do fashion and luxury videos here on my channel, but we are currently going through an entire house remodel, which I have shared with you here on my channel, so make sure to watch those videos. In today's video, we're gonna focus on the good stuff. I will say I am strongly considering doing a things to know before you do a remodel video, kind of like tips and tricks, things to avoid so that your remodel doesn't go like ours did or has been going. Let me know down in the comments if you'd be interested in seeing a video like that. But like I said, today's video is gonna be about the good stuff. Obviously, I've bought a lot of new things so far for this house and so many of you have asked to see some of my favorite things. So that's what we're gonna do in today's video. As always, I will make sure to link everything down below in the info box, but let's go ahead and get started. Really asking, we'll get away. A place where we don't know. So keep in mind, there are a lot of spaces here in the house that are not fully decorated. Probably gonna take me a good six months to a year to finish the entire house but I do have pieces in the living room, no decor on the coffee table yet. I haven't finished with everything. I still have lamps coming that have been ordered that are on back order that are gonna go back here behind the sofa. I ordered them from Restoration Hardware, I cannot wait. But speaking of Restoration Hardware, I wanted to share this couch. No, it's not from Restoration Hardware. We didn't wanna spend that much money, but Restoration Hardware did have something similar. And to be honest, I like this one just as much and it was a fraction of the cost. If you are looking for a sofa, I highly recommend this one. I feel like it is so modern but classic and so, so comfortable. How cute does Minnie look laying on there? So I will put the measurements of this couch. You get to choose the measurements of it. You can also choose whether the arms are the slim arms or the thicker arms. We went with the slim arms because I just didn't want something that looked too chunky. I wanted something a really, really good size but didn't feel bulky in this space. I wanted the space to feel like bright and light and airy. I ended up going with the velvet just because it's pet friendly. I don't have to worry about the cat snagging this sofa. You can pick any fabric that you want. It's all kind of customizable to your space and your design needs. But if you are looking for a sofa, I highly recommend this one. Next up, I wanted to share some new kitchen lighting that I changed in here. So I still need to change the chandelier above the second center island, but I did change the two pendants above the first island and I am obsessed. I really wasn't sure if I wanted to continue the black theme or go with all brass, but I ended up finding these two-tone pendants and I thought they were perfect. It really gives me a lot of flexibility, so I think I'm gonna end up going with all brass for this particular island uh, chandelier as well, just because I think it'll be really, really nice in the space. These are a look for less for a way more expensive pendant. Like the pendant that these model after are thousands and thousands of dollars. And these are a, like when I say a fraction of the price, I mean a fraction of the price. These are actually super, super affordable, but look so high end and expensive. They give off a lot of light. I will also link the light bulbs that you use or that we ended up using. I go with a daylight. I do a 5,000 K daylight. I just feel like for filming and just for brightness, I just prefer that. If you look you can see the difference. This is a daylight bulb and these are a warm bulb. I'm personally not a fan of the warm bulb. I feel like the daylight bulb looks fresher, looks more modern, looks more like up to date. However, the warm bulb does give a warmer kind of softer feel. It really is just preference and I just prefer daylight bulbs. I just think it looks so much better. We also changed all of these to daylight as well. When I change out this chandelier, I will change those to daylight bulbs. I just haven't now because there's just no point. I'm planning on getting a new chandelier any day now. As soon as I find one, basically I will replace that one, but I really, really love these. So if you're kind of at this space, like this place in your home decor that you're wanting to get new lighting, maybe you currently have brass and you're wanting to add touches of black, maybe you have black and you're wanting to add touches of brass, this is a really good way to do that. 
This is the other chandelier that I changed out in the kitchen. This is in the breakfast area, but again, I just wanted to show you because one, this is really affordable, looks really high end, but gives you that same two-tone look. And I feel like there's something really modern about the two-tone black and brass. I just think it looks really, really beautiful. Speaking of brass in the kitchen, I wanted to share my new faucet because I really, really like this faucet. I ended up ordering two or three, or maybe even four different faucets because we knew we wanted to change the one that was here. It was black, it was really short, it felt very farmhouse. I wanted something modern, I wanted something brass, but I was really picky about the shade of brass. I wanted to make sure that it coordinated with the pendants that were right above it. This one, like checked all of the boxes. It was clean, it was simple, it was modern, it was much taller. It definitely adds like a statement to this front island and I think it looks really good. And I really think for the price, it's a great value as well. Okay, ignore the unorganized pantry behind it. This is real life. I semi have organized in there, but it's not fully done. We're actually gonna have the pantry completely redone. I've decided to go a different route but I wanted to share these doorknobs with you because I love them. I have switched out these doorknobs twice since we have moved in and these right here are perfection. They give that antique vibe. They are very, very substantial. I ended up changing out these here in the pantry, my office knobs, as well as the powder room to gold. And I just think it makes such a statement having it just in select areas. Obviously I would love to change. Well, one, I don't, you cannot really change out these to the entire house just because they don't have like exterior door knobs. It's more for interior doors, but I'll link them down below. If you're wanting to change out just a few like strategic knobs in the house, these are so beautiful. Speaking of knobs, I also feel like this is an area where I ordered so many different options until I found exactly what I was looking for. So these are the ones we ended up doing in the kitchen. I will show you some other knobs throughout the house and link them down below. I just feel like I got so lucky. Knobs can be so expensive. We were already way over budget on this project and I just, there were just certain areas that it was really, really important for me to try to save money where, where we could. And this was one of the areas that I was like, I just don't want to spend a ton of money. I want to get something that looks great, but I just don't think it's important to spend a ton of money on this unless I just can't find what I'm looking for. And I ended up finding exactly what I was looking for in every single space. They turned out so, so good. So these are the knobs that we ended up doing in the primary bathroom. As you can see, they have more of an antique feel, which is exactly what I wanted in this particular space. I thought that this kind of antique vibe was perfect with the colors and the tones that we did in here. It just looks really pretty. And again, these are super affordable, but look so expensive. I'm not quite ready to share this entire space because all of the beadboard needs to be painted, but I did wanna show you the pools we ended up doing here in the laundry room. I just, again, different, but super affordable and really, really nice and substantial. I just think these look amazing in here. Okay, I decided I wanted to go ahead and share these teak looking rocking chairs with you. These are out by our fire pit. It's a disaster over there, like lots of pool floaties. So I just wanted to move it over here where I had better lighting and could share them with you. I've always wanted to get rocking chairs either around a fire pit or on a front porch. And when I saw these, I thought they were perfect. I love the natural like wood teak look. The color was perfect, the size was perfect. These are a really, really nice quality too. And they're super affordable. Rocking chairs can be kind of pricey. I wanted to show you the back because you've got 
this kind of detail here with it. I just really, really like these. I will link these down below, but they did have a few other options. So if you are looking for a, more of a colored rocking chair, you could do that as well. Obviously, when you do this kind of wood tone, you are going to want to treat this, you know, maybe once, maybe even twice a year so that you can keep that really beautiful natural wood tone. So there is a little bit of upkeep with a wood like this, but I just think it looks really beautiful. I am sure I will get a few questions. So I'm going to go ahead and link my two side chairs, the coffee table and my two rugs in the info box as well. And then I just had to show, look at Max taking a nap on the swivel chair. I've always, this might be really silly, but I have always wanted a swivel chair. I, I don't know why, I don't know how to explain it. And so I, I thought about putting one in this corner and I'm so glad that I did because not only is this one just a beautiful piece, it's the same exact fabric as the sofa. You could customize this one as well. It's really, really comfortable, but I love the fact that you can turn it around and like watch the birds out the window. Um, it's just such a great piece. I love it. And the cats obviously love taking a nap on it. Right, Max? Say hi. Max. Hello. I have also had a ton of questions about the entryway rug and my front door mat, which you can see right there. I'm going to link both of them because I really do love them both. I love this one so much that I actually, Nala, really? <laughs> I love this one so much that I actually almost wished I would have gotten this one in the larger size to go in the living room because I think this checkered is just a moment. I love it so, so much, but nonetheless, I love it and I'm glad that it's here. And then I'll go ahead and just give you like a little peek of our front doormat. It's huge. If you are in need of a custom size, oversized, really any size doormat, you have got to check out this company. She's on Etsy, I found her. The quality of her mats are amazing. I will link them down below. Mine just says, welcome, and it's so big. It's the length of the entire uh, double door. I think it looks amazing. I wanted to go ahead and show you the gold knobs on my office door so you could see what they look like on white. I just think they are the most beautiful knobs I have ever seen. And yes, we still have the darker knobs and it works just fine, kind of doing it just in key areas. They are such a beautiful, beautiful knob. Highly recommend. I also realized I have got to mention my counter stools. I feel like these right here create the entire vibe to kind of finish everything off. I feel like stools are so important, especially whenever they face outwards of the kitchen. They're not like internal to the kitchen, if that makes sense. These right here are perfection. You can customize these. So you can choose the frame color. I chose black, of course. You can choose the seat fabric. I went with the velvet. I believe it's the color sand. I'll, I'll link it down below. And then you can choose the leather color for this backer, or you can even not have a backer if you want an even cleaner look. I just love these. I feel like they are almost like a piece of jewelry to the kitchen. They look so beautiful, so high end, yet the price is amazing. I do have a coupon code. It gets you free shipping worldwide. So they do actually ship worldwide. So I know I have some watchers, some viewers, some of you that aren't just in the United States. So if you wanted these, if you love them and you'd order them, you can get free shipping worldwide. I think they're such a beautiful piece. Look at Lexi. You guys haven't seen her for a while, have you? She's basically deaf. <laughs> but she's looking good for, what, 19 years old? 18, 19 years old? But I'll link the stools down below. Like I said, they are customizable. So if these colors aren't your vibe, you can, you know, do them to match your kitchen. Look at Miss Roxy. 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 She's napping. I always find them in the cutest places. Bax is still, look at him. Are you giving yourself a bath? <laughs> You're so cute. Okay, this isn't really home decor. Actually, it's not home decor at all, but I just had to mention our microwave. It's actually a two-in-one or all-in-one. It is a microwave, but it's also a convection oven, a regular oven. You can, basically it's like a third oven for us because we have a double oven here. We have a small one and then a full-size one. And this kind of works as our third oven, but it's also our microwave. If you are in the market, like remodeling your home and you're looking for appliances, 
I highly recommend this line. It is the line that matches our range. I will link the microwave. I will also link the range. Keep in mind, we did upgrade the burners to the brass burners. So when you see the range, it's not gonna have the brass burners. It's gonna have the traditional silver burners. I decided to upgrade to the brass burners because I just felt I added that touch of brass, just kind of brought in the brass that I have throughout the entire kitchen. I'm obsessed with these appliances. I really, really love them, highly recommend them. So yeah, if you're looking for good appliances, I just think these are so, so good. So there you have it, at least for now. I've still got a ton of decorating and like decor pieces that I have to get for this house. Keep in mind, we are not fully unpacked and moved in yet because the house isn't done yet. But as, small, as I continue to get more things, I will continue to share with you. And as always, I'll link everything down below. Thank you so much for watching. And if you're new to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as that notification button so you don't miss any future videos. But keep in mind, I typically do fashion and luxury videos, but I do have an entire home series happening in regards to this home remodel. So I will be bringing you along the way.